Here's a lithium polymer battery. Okay, and it was damaged. It has a cut and one of the cells is much larger than the rest. You can see the size also. Here is larger there. It's not that large. And it has a big problem. It's not charging either. The charger is good. Other batteries can be charged. There's an undamaged version of the same battery. And that one is just fine. Now it's charging the last part. Okay, but this one is not working. And we should measure the voltage of the cells. It's blinking. Okay, so let's see. Let's measure the good battery using the balance plug. Make sure it's not on amperage. Otherwise, if it's the red, if it's here, then it's short circuit between the two. Okay, and then it's set to 20 volts DC. And let's insert it onto the first pin and onto the second pin. 4.16 volts. Okay, second pin and third pin. 4.17. Okay. Third and fourth, 4.17, and the last one, 4.17. So that's a healthy battery. And here's the damaged one. Let's see which cell is not right. 3.7, that's almost okay. 0 0.6, <laughs> that's not okay. And 4. Point something, that's good. 4. Point something, that's good. So between the second and the third one we have a damaged cell. 4.7, that's almost fine. So let's see, that cell, I'm not sure exactly which one. The first two have lower voltage, so I guess it's the second one which is damaged. The rest of the two cells are good, so if you want, you could remove the two damaged cells and you have another battery with two more damaged cells, then use the two good ones and you could place the two good here and you can reuse the battery pack in that case. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.